Hello everyone, this is First Up. I'm back with another video today. So in this video, we will discuss about how to win the Shapeshifter Challenge mode matches easily without any issues. So let's begin without wasting any precious time. So first of all, you have to remember that in your team, you should have five Shapeshifter players that you already know as it is the requirement. And make sure that your attack and defense is very well, just like I have Raul in my team, Pele, Vanjik, Megnan and other players. And as well as you have to keep those players in the substitution that you removed for the ship shifter players so that will help you a lot to win the matches in challenge mode and as well as make sure that you have tall defenders so you can cross spam i mean you can save yourself from the cross spammers easily in the head to head so first of all we have the skill game this is easy we just have to hit the targets and it will be completed and after that we have to play the match against the bot so the bot has already scored three goals and we have to score four goals to win this match this might look very easy but it is not really and that's why i am here to teach you guys how to win these matches so the first thing you have to do here is to keep the highest over players in your team that you put in the substitution at first so that when they will be available in the team it will be very easy to score goals against the ai and the real opponent because if you will play without the substitution players that are the high over players it will be really tough for you to win these matches matches as with these low over shapeshifter players you cannot score the goals easily it is not very easy to score the goals with the help of these players so that's why the substitutions are very important the second thing you have to do is to use your joystick properly as most of the users just use the joystick to move the player from one side to the another side so this is not just for the use of moving the players it is useful to skill against the opponents as well you have to skill spam with the joystick as as you can look at my joystick how i am moving this joystick so that i can get a space against the opponent and the opponent's player will get confused what to do how to defend him and i will be able to score the goals easily and the third thing you have to do for this match is if you are not able to score the goals properly try to just equalize the goal try to score three goals as after three goals you will get the extra time and in the extra time you can play the match without any issue without any worry so it will be really easy for you guys to win this match the fourth thing is whenever you will get a corner in these matches you don't have to score it directly you have to pass it to the nearest player so when the nearest player will go up you will score the long shot against the opponent and you will score a goal easily so make sure to try it out as it will really help because most of us are not able to score the goals directly from the corner so that's why i can recommend to pass the nearest player and score the goal the fifth thing is simply you have to make a lot of passes in the match so that you can make space you can make chances to score the goals against the opponent easily and really the passing helps a lot the passing will help a lot and you have to make sure that you don't give the ball to the opponent because once you will give the ball to the opponent it is over for you guys because simply he will just waste the time so you will get less chances to score the goals against the opponent so that's why don't lose your ball just keep it with yourself and try to score the goals as much as you can and after completing the pve match you have to be ready for the main part as the next match is the head to head match so this is against the real opponent as you already know so in this match you have to repeat it all whatever i told you guys in the starting so you have to keep your substitution players in the team so that opponent will get surprised and you will score the goals easily and make sure that you will concede less goals against the opponent because once the opponent will score a goal he is not just leaving the game he will try to waste time he will try to pass here and there he will try to win the match by scoring one goal but you are very clever you just have to do the same things whatever i told you and 
you will be able to score the goals easily you will be able to win the matches easily and also with the help of these tall players you can easily move forward you can easily defend you can easily attack without any issue oh the opponent also did the same thing that i told you guys so yes people are already doing it to win the matches the sixth thing i will recommend to do in the head to heads is try to score the long shots as most of the times it is unpredictable for the opponent as well and most of the times the same thing will happen what happened here as the goalkeeper saved and my second player scored the goal and the goalkeeper was not able to save this shot so you can easily score the goal with the help of this thing as well the seventh thing is you can just watch my video from the starting i haven't used the split speed while going to the attack so this is the trick whenever you are going to the attack you don't have to use the split speed because whenever you will use the split speed first of all your player will drain out and he will not be able to perform for the whole game and second thing is whenever he will be close to the defenders the defender will just tackle and you will lose the ball as during the split speed the player doesn't have any control on his ball he will just move forward so without the split speed you can easily control the ball you can easily control the player and do whatever you want so that's why i don't use the split speed while going to the attack but when i am near the attack i will use the split speed so you have to make sure that you ignore the split speed mostly while attacking but while defending of course this is very important to defend against the opponents it is very important to tackle against the opponent so yes keep this thing in mind and after completing the first head to head match in the second head to head match you will definitely face the legendary player or fc champion player so you don't have to panic that this player will be really great in gameplay this player will just defeat me you have to be confident in the last match as i scored three goals against the opponent so it will be easy for you guys as well if you follow these tips because these tips will definitely help you out to complete the tournament and collect these shapeshifter tokens and today we are able to claim the 96 to 99 oh we are back with the help of these tokens as users already are able to collect around 900 points today so yes just complete it and claim the pack maybe you might be able to claim some of the highest ovr players from this pack so yes definitely go with this pack so it was all for today you can ask your questions in the comment section i will be back with new fantastic content till then be safe be healthy and take care of yourself